Sean, this movie, this is what brings people together in conversations wherever they are. Could be at a grocery store, a library, or just out on the street. This is the kind of stuff that people want to see. (laughs) Well, that's awesome. I am glad. Um, it is it is pretty crazy. Yeah, and in fact, I'm, th- thank you for saying that because I'm going to ask you, what was it like for you behind that lens? Because I know what I'm seeing in front of the TV. Um, you know, it was fun. It was fun figuring out how to do things uh, in a fresh way. I mean, m- one of the things I'm always t- telling about my whole crew is let's come up with something we've never seen before. And so just trying to invent that is very cool. Yeah, one of the things that that my wife and I talk about is the masked man. This is a new level of fear and danger. And both of us agree that this is the kind of stuff we always ask, could this really happen? And if so, I have every reason in the world to be in fear. Well, I I grew up on, you know, great horror films. And I love the ones with masked people. And what happened is I went to Italy and I saw Michelangelo's Dave. And I go, we haven't seen that as a mask yet. And so we had to actually build that and construct it for the movie because usually you think of David with warm and kind thoughts. You know, it's like, oh, it's, it's David. And on this one, it's like, what if he turned out to be a minute? <laughs> and that's, uh, and it was really weird as it came up. I was in a restaurant in Los Angeles, Lift, and um, I, this guy had this big David tattoo on his arm. And then I went, uh, with my family to Italy and we went to see David and I just kept looking at that guy going, man, that could be very frightening with, you know, a hoodie on and a big (laughs) black jacket. And uh, that was the fun of it. Don't you love it when things like that hit you when you least expect it? Because my last book hit me while I was walking through a mall and I was like, why would it come to me now? And have you asked yourself that question? Why did that moment happen for you to create this? I don't know. I, like I said, when I read this script, and there was going to be this bad guy, all of a sudden I just start seeing images, and that's yeah. what kind of popped into my head. Uh, because they actually did pop into my face, it was like I, they were around me, and I just saw it. <laughs> and look at who you've got starring in this. I mean, Sean Astin and Jeremy Pivens, this right here is a team. It's incredible. You know, it's funny, when Jeremy Pivens came up on the set for the first time to me, I just see Ari Gold from uh, <laughs> yep. uh, his TV show. And then I grew up with Sean Astin playing Rudy and all of that stuff. So it was just, it was so fun to get to work with those guys. Such pros. And they brought so much to it. But again, every time I would see uh, Jeremy, I was like thinking, am I getting a call? Is it my, is it my agent calling for work or to yell at me? Well, well, as the director, how do you break the viewer from from that that same kind of a feeling? Because when when, when I looked at the screen, it's like, okay, you, you make the identity. I've seen him in this. I've seen him in this. You hit uh, IMDb, and then you go, okay, now give me this story, and you do. Well, again, I think the actors are so good, they became different characters. Because when you actually see him acting the part, he's not Ari Gold. He is the father of uh, Elena Kamporek. He, um, or Lou, uh, he is just an incredible, he has warmth, and you think there's this whole beautiful relationship going on, which there is, and then, you know, as the film develops, more interesting things come up. Bringing these scenes to life, I mean, they're filled with fire, destruction, question, and wonder. You get the viewers so intense that that it's like, oh my God, what else is he going to deliver? And Sean, you do. You bring it to everything that I'm, I'm feeling in that moment. Well, I think that's a story that was in the script. So I, you know, at a certain point, I just started following what's on paper and, and that's what we do. We just kind of, uh, find this incredible, um, this incredible junction between the script and those actors on that day. And just the idea of how do we give the audience a good ride and scare them in a fun way. Don't you think that too often that we, we fall we fall in love with the people that are featured in a movie and we forget about those who help make the movie? And I think that there should be a way that we need to start honoring you guys more and, and really talking more about what your guys' eye sees before we even get it. Well, I, to me, I'm like of the opinion that, that we want to hide the, the, the crowd. <laughs> we want to walk into a movie and walk into their world right. and not know that there's any film crew behind anything that you're seeing there's you're just seeing a bit of reality wow so true so true because i do i go to the movie to to find my escape 
Yes, it, well, me too. And I don't know if it's the escape, but it's just it's just to go into somebody else's world and live it. Speaking of that, and, and I know that we're talking about a Vindictive, but you've got a new film that you're working on called Reagan starring Dennis Quaid. I've been with Dennis Quaid. He He's a fun-loving guy, but then when he acts, he gets real serious. What did you experience? Well, I've done a few uh, films with Dennis, and um, I mean, first of all, for Reagan, people are going to love that. He just becomes Ronald Reagan. And it's just insane how good it is. It's amazing. Well, I can't thank you enough for everything that you're doing with movies because we need this escape. And we, well, and like you said, we need this story. How about that? We need the storyline to keep us growing within our own imaginations. I I, I would guess so. I, I'm not sure. I just hope uh, that we we entertain some people and get them to have a moment of being very scared when they get to watch this <laughs> yeah. just to have that feeling of fright they will they will dude you got to come back to this show anytime in the future the door is always going to be open for you oh man thank you thank you for for having me you bet you be brilliant today okay sean thank you so much take care Arrow.